Hi, my name is Ken Thomas. I'm a professor here at UNF. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick video series on um, Premiere Pro basic editing layout and techniques. Uh, I normally do this in the classroom um, for Professor Tatro uh, for multimedia storytelling, uh, but we're going to break it up into a short video series for review uh, and also because of COVID-19 restrictions. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to first start with opening up Premiere, Premiere Project. Now, I'm on a Mac in the lab. Uh, the classroom that you guys are probably in uh, may or may not have a Mac. It may have a PC. Everything is the same thing. If you're on a PC, you would go up to File and then open up all the uh, list. It'll open up the list of programs and you'll find P, uh, uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you hit the launch pad and then you just move it over here and all of these are the Adobe project uh, uh, programs that we have. You're looking for the PR, okay? PR is there. If it's down here on the toolbar, that means somebody else has already opened it up. So you just double click on that and hopefully it'll open up. Come on, open up. When it starts bouncing like that, that means the progress is opening or the program is opening. And while this is going on, uh, I'll give you a heads up. This uh, video tutorial is basically designed to help you do your assignments, your video assignments in uh, Professor Tatro's class, but it will also help you in your future classes. Um, so please pay attention and always go back to watch the video um, in the course if you need to. But now that you open up Premiere, what we have here is we want to start with a new project. Okay, so we'll click new project. Right up in here, this is where you name your project and we're going to name it Ken Training. Up here is where you save your project. Uh, you can save it to your hard drive, your flash drive. I'm gonna save it into my flash drive right there. All the rest of this is preset. You don't need to mess with that uh, unless you're really in advanced editing, which we're not. This is a very basic beginning course. So once you do that, those two, you name it and you uh, tell it where to save so you can find it later. You go ahead and hit OK. And the little wheel spins and hopefully it doesn't take long for it to uh, actually create the program where you wanted it to go. And there it is right there. Now, we're gonna go over this to the layout right now. Sometimes it comes up here. This is the learning layout which I don't even know why it's here. Uh, I don't like this learning layout, but up here at the top, you will see the assembly, learning, assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, graphics, and libraries. Generally speaking, you're going to want to go into the editing um, layout, and that creates this layout right here. And what this layout does is allows you to view certain things uh, in your screen, okay? Um, when you're here, once you've got it opened up, your project is being saved automatically. It's being backed up automatically uh, while you're going about every five or ten minutes. I can't remember the exact time. But it's always good to go ahead and hit File, Save. If you want to save it under a different name, you hit File, Save As. This works the same in a Mac as it does in a PC. Either way, you're filing and saving. I highly recommend that you do this, okay? Because not only is it saving a backup, but it'll save if you save the latest version. Premiere has a tendency to crash uh, here on campus for whatever reason. I don't know why but it does and sometimes you will be working for 30 minutes and you think it's automatically saving, but for whatever reason it crashes and then you go back 
and go to try to pick it up and the last 30 minutes that you did all your fancy editing to and all the changes you made are were not saved so i highly recommend you save 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 as often as you possibly can so we're going to pause right here and i'm going to get a different shot of the uh, keyboard because that's going to become pretty key as you move forward in your editing process so i'll get a shot of the keyboard we'll do the best we can with that now let's go over essentially the layout we're going to go over the basic layout of premiere up in the top you have this button here. You really don't need to worry about anything like that. Generally speaking, Premiere, uh, either that either. You'll need File. You'll want to be able to know what this stuff is. Edit, Clip, Sequence, Markers, Graphics, View, Window. Um, window is interesting because the, primarily you can customize your window, what you want to put in there. Uh, in your workspace. So if you want to do assembly or color just like right here or if you want to create your own private independent um, workspace you can uh, edit one or you can uh, create your own. Uh, again that goes into more um, um, advanced type stuff if you're editing a lot. So that being said again we're going over here, learning, assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, graphics, and libraries. Assembly doesn't do anything except for puts everything uh, in the perspective. Editing is primarily where you're going to be, and I will go over this particular layout when we uh, go through the rest of this. Color. Color is going to give you the ability to change colors on your timeline, uh, fix some white balance issues, and effects. Um, Hopefully it'll pop up. Sometimes some of these don't. These windows, uh, the effects over here, you can change and add your video effects, your audio transitions, your audio effects, um, all which is mostly primarily for advanced. Your video transitions, dissolves, all that stuff. Really advanced uh, effects. And then your audio will go into, you can see your audio, it's got uh, some stuff in there. Graphics, um, preloaded templates for graphics, but I'm going to show you how to make graphics in this video um, tutorial, so don't worry about that. Go back to editing for the moment. Editing, uh, this is the layout, and I'm going to explain the layout, okay? Uh, the layout is this, this area right here right here is called the source window okay and you'll notice when i click on the source window the blue bar goes or blue square follows wherever i click okay this is the program window so if i click on it the blue um, program window comes up okay down here this is the project window or the project bin over here is the timeline okay you'll see that there's nothing going on here there's nothing in here nothing is in here because we haven't put any media in there there's no nothing to reference guys remember that this program premiere is a reference program only you what that means is you're going to be putting in video into your project or you're going to be using the media browser to get to your video i'll explain that in the next video Okay, next tutorial. Once you do that, and once you do that, and you'll be able to put the timeline, the video on the timeline, and up in the windows, you'll be able to see something. All right, remember, the Premiere only references back to the source of the video. In other words, if your source is the original source on the, on the SD card that you recorded it on, and you go through and you find it on the media browser, and you bring it into the program, into your project, okay, 
it's reading the information from the original source so you can use it in the program. In other words, it's reading the information, the files off of the card, the SD card, the flash drive, the hard drive, any of that. It's reading it. The video is actually not being transferred into the program. The video is housed on the original source, okay? And it's referenced back to that source in the program. So what happens is if you remove that original source, your video will disappear. It'll go offline, okay? And I'll go over that in, in a few minutes and how to fix that, all right? So this is at this point where I highly recommend students that purchase a portable hard drive. You only need a one terabyte hard drive. They're only about 50, 60 bucks. I know they're expensive, but it will get you through this class and probably through the rest of the, the, the program here at UNF if you just do that, okay? So we have the source window, the program window, and this window here is the timeline, okay? If you think of it this way, the project here, okay, is your original raw materials, all right? So this is what you went out and recorded with. That's what's gonna be in your project or in your media browser window. Those are your original source videos. When you bring them up here to the source window, that's kind of preview, okay? Until you put them on the timeline right here, nothing is gonna be in the program. Program is the final cut, okay? So if you think of it this way, whatever goes in this box attaches to this box. Whatever goes in this box attaches to this box, okay? If that makes sense? So they kind of reflect here and here, okay? In the next tutorial, we'll actually put video in here and uh, go through some explanations of how to make things happen once you get it in there.